Okay, good morning everyone. Nice to be here, thanks very much. And uh, my name is Christian Randa, uh, CEO and co-founder of Mendor, the new diabetes movement. And what do we do? Well, we have basically two, di two different products. We have the most uh, coolest and integrated glucose meter out there, and which we're selling already in Europe, uh, around $4 million re revenues this year. And we have a cloud-based service for analysis of glucose data. And why that's, why that's important? So first of all, it's been proven that integrated meters Includes comp uh, they um, Im improve compliance for patients so that people measure more when they need to measure to get good kind of data to analyze. And what we do then with the good data, we basically analyze data to improve outcomes and to improve, for, for example, pharmaceutical targeting and dosing. And uh, what we now do with partnerships, uh, we're already uh, working with Lilly, with Sanofi, with Merck Serono and with Menorini in Europe. And uh, now I'm talking to different HMOs and I'm looking forward to getting to the US next year, getting FDA approval for the cloud. And uh, we're looking up to, uh, or getting, uh, raising up to uh, 20 million um, dollars in Series C next year. Thanks. Um, sure, yeah. So, I mean, great, a better glucose meter. That's what I, I hear. Part of the company is a better glucose meter, and part of the company is a web data analytics feedback. So, first on the glucose meter, you know, God bless you if you have a better glucose meter, is what's the secret? What, I mean, is it is this a breakthrough transformational, forget about the pick and, you know, the, pr the prick and whatever? <laughs> well, happy to answer, good point. So there's one single glucose meter which is integrated currently on sale in the market. That's a Roche Diagnostics model, and only that product is 5% in the US. And uh, Roche reported last H1 that it was growing 45%. So that segment of integrated meters, where Roche has only one, only Roche has one product, is currently around 400 million euros globally, and is growing 45 percent according to Roche's report. I'm sorry, but what's, are you are you using Roche's meter? No, we are the, the only second meter okay. out there, which which even more integrated meter. So Roche has a meter which okay. basically is like semi-integrated with a lancing device stuck on the side. Okay. But we have we have everything here. It's like a cell phone. It's all here. You don't need anything else. Okay, but you're not, I mean, so it's your own IP? Yes, you developed it's patented, it. granted in the US, okay. EU, China, and so on. But it is prick and measure, it's not? It is, okay. it's traditional finger pricking measure. Okay, okay. Mike? Would you mind uh, just briefly diving into your relationship with your pharmaceutical partners? Yes, happy to. So Menorini Diagnostics, uh, they are uh, sort of presenting or um, selling our product in Europe, in different countries, and expanding to Asia next year. So they are only selling the glucose meter. That's what they do. That's their sort of cup of tea. And uh, then what we do with the with the cloud, we are, have partnered with the cloud with Sanofi and Lili, who have interest in the data we produce. So basically, pharma needs better data to manage their you know post market, uh, clinical trials, uh, pre market, um, numerous numerous different things. So that's that's why they are interested in the data. And is that under your brand? Are they selling it as Mendor, or is it uh, well, under there? It's under our brand, and we are working with them. So, like Lily is sponsoring our software use at the different diabetes clinics. And then, what we do with Sanofi, they are using the data we produce together with them in clinical trials to, for example, pharmaceutical reimbursement, uh, market assessments, market sort of like segmentation, and so on. Eddie? Quick presentation. I believe you have a uh, non-invasive method to allow monitoring. No, no, no. It's invasive. No, no, it's invasive, but non-invasive still isn't working. Just one company went bankrupt in the in the spring. C8 Medicine, sir. That's not working. Okay, got it. <laughs> yes, but what I see is, uh, are you encouraging people to, because of the convenience of taking their glucose level, encouraging them to take at greater frequency throughout the day? Basically not, but uh, take more meaningful measurements. So if people measure randomly like they normally do, whenever they feel like, you know, now I feel bad, I'm going to measure. Basically, that's not, the most, you know, that's not the best way to do it. We are instructing people to every once in a while, with our software, with the program, to get sort of like structured glucose profiles created. And we call it glucose profiling. And once a patient completes that kind of glucose profile, which usually takes less than two weeks for type 2 patients, then that data is really meaningful, and that helps to find the right pharmaceutical for these folks, or you know, adjust the dosing and whatever. So it's it's like multi-use data, which is very sort of like concise in, in the manner. Thanks. Uh, great presentation, first of all. The the uh, the FDA approval here in the states. How, how do you view that? I mean, is it uh, are you far down the path? Is it very difficult? Is it very risky? 
Uh, and how does that sort of jive with your fundraising here? Very I, think I, I think I know the answer, but anyway. So basically, we have two products, uh, and the discrete meter, which I have in my pocket, that's not going to be approved, or we are not going to be filing for FDA at this point. But we are developing the next generation glucose meter to then come to US in 2015. And part of the funding would go to that next generation meter development, but the bigger part of the funding would go to the cloud commercialization in the US. And we are filing for uh, FDA 510K for the cloud now before Christmas. There's two predicate cases, Glu um, Gluco and WellDoc, Blue Star. So basically, we've looked at them and you know, we talked to the FDA, and we expect to get four to six month approval time. So we'd be ready before next summer and then be launching with HMOs here. Wonderful. Thank you. All right, let's go to feedback. Phil, do you want so to start? Well, I, I'm still questioning as well. <laughs> so, no, no, feedback, feedback. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll feedback too. Have okay. So, oh, sorry. So, uh, I guess my feedback, feedback is that I'm still a little bit confused um, in terms of where the center of the model is because you say you're the new diabetes movement. So, you're, you're, the new diabetes movement, I assume, is all about data analytics and feedback. And so, the, then closing the loop is still unclear to me, which is, You've got an integrated device, Roche has an integrated device. You know, most people I know don't have their glucose data up on the web, yes. or they don't transmit it up to the web. And that, I think, is kind of the core to this, and I'm not sure where the numbers are on that, but if you can easily get all your glucose data, I know you can't give me the answer to my question. I know. No, I think you I can. can. People won't let me. <laughs> we'll follow up later, but that, that closing the loop was a little bit unclear. It was implicit, yeah. but I didn't quite get there quickly enough. Thanks. Yeah. And it supports you, you a lot of meters. Okay. It's not I, just power meters. I'm guessing that. I yeah. was guessing that the way you talked about, you know, from Michelle's you know, answer. Eddie? Yeah. I think it's because of the lack of time, because uh, you have a problem that is complicated and require much uh, more time to explain a yes. complete solution. Mm -hmm. But um, I think from the patient's <laughs> point of view and from the point of care point of view, uh, I'll have to understand uh, what is in it for the patient. Does this improve um, the consistency of their glucose level? Does this increase their overall well-being? Because we need to um, substantiate this significant improvement before we can go into insurance reimbursement, which is the biggest hurdle to gain a huge market here. So we will need to, uh, I'll, I'll be happy to talk to you to find out more about those data. Yeah. Michelle, do you have any Mike? Thank you very much.